It's a me, Emma. Here we go. Today, I am going to answer an important question. Does Mario speak English well? So Mario is a character in a popular video game. He's been in many video games. Uh, for example, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, he has a brother named Luigi. And when I was a kid, I loved to play Mario video games. Mario is not a native speaker of English. English is his second language. So I thought today would be a good day to learn from Mario and to analyze Mario's English. So the first question, does Mario speak English well? Well, that's a good question. Um, my answer as an English teacher is in some ways yes, but in other ways no. So today we're going to look at Mario's mistakes in different expressions he uses frequently. And we're also going to talk about what Mario does very well. Now I use the word Mario. I have a Canadian accent. If you're in the US or in England or Australia or another country, there might be a little bit of a difference in the way you pronounce the name Mario. Um, so the plan for today is we are going to learn from Mario. We'll look at his mistakes and what he does well. But first, let's talk about who Mario is. So Mario has a special job. He is a plumber. A plumber is a person who fixes water pipes. They might do other things, but that's one of the main functions of a plumber. They fix pipes. One interesting thing to notice is the word plumber has a B but we do not pronounce the B. So it's like it doesn't exist. We say plumber, but in the spelling, there's a B. So that's his job. Mario is also a hero. He fights the bad guys and he saves the princess, Princess Peach. Um, so that's something else Mario does. But what I'm most interested in is that Mario is an English language learner. And he's done quite well for himself. So let's look at Mario's English. All right, the first expression of Mario. He says, it's a me, Mario. So what do I like about this sentence? What's good about it? Well, I love that Mario uses a contraction. So in this case, the contraction is it's. A contraction is when we take two words and combine them into one word with an apostrophe. So for example, it's, he's, she's, we've, I'd, I'll, these are all contractions. So Mario took it is, put a apostrophe there and changed it to it's. It's a me, Mario. So it's is great because it's very common in conversational English. And we try to teach our students or English language learners to use contractions in conversation because it's, it's very common and very important to do. So I like that about Mario. I like he uses contractions, that's good. What don't I like? Well, from an English teaching perspective, I don't like the fact he uses a here. It's a, it's a me. So that's a problem. So what I would tell Mario is, Mario, get rid of the A and just say, it's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Um, so as an English teacher, that's what I would recommend he do. All right, let's look at the next sentence Mario says. Mario says, I'm a gonna win. I'm a gonna win. So what's good about this sentence? Well, um, first off, he has a contraction. Just like what I mentioned here, he has the contraction I'm. So I'm is a contraction. It means I am 
when we put those together and add an apostrophe, we're saying I'm. That's great. Uh, Mario also uses a reduction. So a reduction is when uh, English speakers speak quickly. Sometimes they change words. So for example, instead of saying going to, you know, sometimes we're a little bit more lazy and we'll say gonna. So gonna means going to, and it's more natural speech in conversation. Mario does a good job with this. Mario says, I'm a gonna win. So I like that he says gonna. Uh, and again, that means going to. I also like that Mario correctly used the base form of the verb win. So instead of saying, I'm gonna winning or I'm gonna to win, uh, I like that he just had win here. That was good. I'm going to win or I'm gonna win. So good job with that, Mario. What are his mistakes? Well, again, it's that A sound. I'm a gonna win. So I would tell Mario, get rid of this extra sound. Just say, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Okay. So the next thing I like that Mario says is he often says the word, ouch, ouch. What does this word mean? Well, we say ouch when we get hurt. Ouch, that hurt, or ouch. So I'm happy Mario uses this uh, word. It's good vocabulary. It's very common uh, for native English speakers to use. So there's nothing wrong with that. Good job, Mario. Ouch is a great word. Let's look at some other expressions of Mario. Our next Mario expression is, here we go. That wasn't a good impression. Let me try again. Here we go. <laughs> okay, maybe a little better. So this is something Mario says when his car is about to start or when he's starting to move. So there are no mistakes with this expression. This is a very good expression and it's appropriate. It sounds natural. Um, we use it like Mario does when something is starting to move. For example, a roller coaster. Okay, so imagine you're starting to go up a roller coaster. You might say, Ooh, here we go. So it's something you might say when the car or the bicycle or whatever vehicle you're in starts to move. I also like that this sentence has good subject verb agreement. So what do I mean by that? Well, a mistake someone might make is they might say, here we goes. They might add an S or an ES to go. But that would be a mistake. Mario's correct. We and go are in agreement. The subject, which is we, and the verb, go, they match. So good job, Mario. All right, another expression Mario says is, let's a go, let's a go. So what's wrong with this sentence? Well, let's start with what's good. What's good? Well, Mario uses a contraction. Yes, another contraction. What's the contraction in this expression? Well, if you look here, there's an apostrophe and an S. So this actually is two words that have been put into one. Let's is the contraction for let us. And I like that Mario says, let's go. Very, very common English expression. I say that probably a hundred times a day. We use it all the time. Um, I also want to say that it's important to say let's go instead of let us go. If you say let us go, it sounds like somebody is a prisoner or they are captured. They are being kept uh, as a prisoner and they're saying, let us go. So that's not what Mario means. It's if we're talking about going. So for example, you know, it's time to go. We should say, let's go. So Mario gets this correct. That's great. I should have written that there was 
a problem here. I forgot to write here. But what's bad about this example? Let's go. The issue is this ah ah Mario, come on. Let's get rid of that ah. Mario loves the ah. I'm not going to win. Let's go. We need to get rid of that ah, Mario. Let's go. All right. Well, here's a great example where he didn't have the ah sound. Mario says, way to go, way to go. So this is actually, again, a great expression. There's no problems with this. Good job, Mario. Way to go, Mario. Way to go means well done, good job. Yes, we say it when we want to show encouragement to someone and we congratulate them on doing a good job. So way to go is a very common English expression. So I'm happy Mario used that expression. All right, quick quiz for you. What's the middle word here? Way, go, what goes in the middle? Do you remember? The answer is two. Way to go. Way to go. And it sounds a bit different when we say it. Way to go. Okay, so our next Mario expression, or, or it's not an expression actually, it's what he says at the end of one of his video games. Mario says, Thank you so much for playing my game. So that's great. I'm actually really happy with this sentence Mario created. I'd be very happy if a student or a learner said this sentence. Why am I so happy? Well, Mario did something really difficult here. You'll notice that uh, he has the word for and then a verb following. The verb that follows ends in ing. Many learners of English make mistakes with this. They don't know how, um, what the, the verb should look like. Should it have an ing? Should it be to verb? Maybe they might even say, thank you so much for playing my game. So Mario is correct with what he does. He follows the rule, which is when you have the word for, which is a preposition, to is another example of a preposition. Um, after, up, down, these are all examples of prepositions. So after a preposition, in general, the verb ends in ing. So thank you for, you know, thank you for watching. I could say thank you for uh, subscribing. So after the preposition for, we have a verb with ing. Thanks for watch. I'm gonna correct this, I'll add ing. And it's because of this word for. So that's a very simple uh, grammar lesson, but many learners make mistakes with this. I'm really happy Mario did not make a mistake. He's doing pretty well actually with his English. All right, let's look at the next example. We did it. Okay, is there anything wrong with this sentence? No, Mario actually did, did well here. Um, he's using the past tense. So the past tense of do is did. We did it. It's a simple sentence, but it's correct. And we actually use sentences like these when we are happy we did something well, especially if something was difficult. So imagine you took an English test on the present perfect or something that's difficult and you do well on your test. You might say, ah, I did it or we did it. Mario is actually really good at encouraging people. So good job, Mario. All right. Another expression Mario uses is a really funny expression. Mario says, okie dokie. Okie dokie means okay. Um, so if somebody says, you know, can you help me with this? Instead of saying okay, Mario might say okie dokie. It's such a funny expression. Um, 
But it, it exists. You can actually say okie dokie in English. Some of my friends say okie dokie. But before you start using this expression, many people do not think it's a cool expression. So if you say okie dokie, many people might think it's, it's not cool. It's like an old way of speaking. Other people might like it. Um, but be careful if you use okie dokie because it might not be cool. All right, now we're going to look at the longest sentence Mario has said in his video games. All right, so I'm not exactly sure, but I have heard this is the longest sentence Mario says. And from what I've heard, he says it in one of the original Donkey Kong games. So what Mario says is, he says, you know, or let me do my Mario voice, you know, I got to say, it's nice to have a mini Mario. So let's look at this sentence. First of all, what's good about this sentence? I am so happy Mario finally made a long sentence. The main problem with how Mario speaks is I think he's shy with his English. He only says short sentences. It's good to have some short sentences, but I want to learn more about Mario. I want him to make longer sentences. Sentences like this. Sentences that have more complex grammar. That's the number one piece of advice I would give to Mario. You need to increase the length of your sentences and the complexity of your grammar. So what I like about this sentence, so I just mentioned the length, that's good. He uses gotta instead of got to. So this is a reduction. And gotta is a very common expression we would use in conversation in English. So instead of saying, I have to, um, I have to say, or I got to say, he says, I gotta say, I gotta say. It's very natural the way he says this. Um, I also like that he uses the expression, you know. We often start sentences with, you know, and we usually use them when we are giving our opinion. So for example, Mario says, you know, I gotta say, it's nice to have a mini Mario. I might say, you know, Toronto is a nice city to live. Or I might say, um, you know, I think Mario should try to use longer sentences. So you know is Natural English, I'm glad Mario used that expression. All right, so we've looked at Mario's English. You can see there's a lot I like of what he says. And then there's some things I think Mario can improve on. What I would recommend to Mario and to people learning English is to check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, don't forget to ring the bell. You can watch videos on many different grammar topics, pronunciation, reading, writing. There's just so much. Vocabulary building. Um, so check out my channel. And also take our quiz on Mario English. Let's see how much you remember from this lesson. Because remember, the best way to learn is to actually be active and to quiz yourself. That's a really good way to learn a language. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.